Alright guys, so I'm up here up to to the fork and uh there's a gate up there. I'm gonna try to see if you can see it. But um So the guy sent me the footage, told me to go to this parking lot. There's a gate right up there. I don't know if you can see that. But he said follow the fence all the way down, there should be a river. So I'm just gonna walk down there and we'll get to the rest. Following this fence and uh, follow the road up here a second ago. And the road actually goes around and then it curves back around to the top of the hill. See that fence up there? So when this sighting happened, I think that was in February when it was sent to me. If I'm correct. We were in March, I'll have to look um, when I get home. But anyways, uh, the gate's open now, before it wasn't open. So before it was open, you can come down to this parking lot into the lake down there, but you can't drive a car up around that gate. So right now, the likelihood of any kind of Sasquatch or Bigfoot being up there, I don't think is very high because a lot of human traffic, it's like in the middle of two roads. So that kind of, you know, is kind of confusing. But then again, in the winter, I guess that gate's closed and so there'd be less human traffic up here and there's quite a bit of snow up here anyways. I don't know how many people come up here in the winter. Um, he said that there was about two or three feet of snow, so it might be a good spot for Sasquatch in the winter, but I'm gonna come back to you guys as soon as I get to the river. All right, so now I am by this river and he says that there's a trail somewhere over here. Um, I've seen several trails on the way here. I'm just gonna take this one here. He says, don't go down next to the river, but take it up to the left, I mean to the right of the river and uh, we should get to an area where we can recognize what the video looks like. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do that because this is spring and not winter. There's no snow. It's going to look a lot different but uh, I've been looking around already just driving, just driving around and so hopefully by walking through here we can actually see what he was seeing. Now one thing I wanted to talk about is just being out here in the forest, just because you see something that looks like it could be, you know, from a Bigfoot or something, doesn't actually mean that it is, you know? So, I mean, for example, <laughs> there's some bark here, right? I mean, anything could have made that bark. I can't look at that bark and be like, look guys, we know they're out here. And you know, that's just not logical. You gotta look at the most common, the, uh, common things that are in the forest and look at that first and say well could it have been that or was it was it something else so well, this does not look like it so far I'm gonna come back to you guys when I see something that looks more like it so I don't run out of batteries or memory all right guys my microphone that I use on the Pell mic actually ran out of battery just now so hope you guys can hear me all right but Here's just a good example of something, you know? Hey look, I see a little broken twig. Um, I know that a Bigfoot's been through here. I mean, come on. That doesn't mean anything. That just means that there's a broken twig. A human could have stepped on that, a bear could have stepped on that, a deer could have stepped on that. Anything could have stepped on that, you know? Oh no, look, it's broken in two places. You know where Bigfoot came through? I mean, really, I just, you gotta, you gotta eliminate things that, um, this is looking better. I'm gonna, this, I mean, that's the thing, it's really hard to tell because of the, um, there's, there's leaves on the trees, there's, it doesn't really, it's hard to tell if that's really what, it looks familiar though, the landscape. A little bit. The background of the mountains from that video. Alright guys, I'm oh it's just so hard to say. This looks like it could be it though. That pine tree looks familiar. I'm gonna overlay the other video on top of this. But I'm gonna go up here a little bit further just to he didn't say it was too far up the hill. I'm gonna go look at that spot. Some moose tracks. A large deer. To 
this look like it was? This looks like it is. I'm gonna go over there and look around. I don't expect to see anything because it is uh, winter when the video was sent to me, and this is summer, but that was like two years ago, so there's not gonna be any footprints obviously left over from then. And uh, it's not gonna be exactly any evidence here. I don't expect any evidence since it is spring and that gate is open, so I don't expect any Bigfoot activity right here as close to human civilization. Because I want to say this is it. I wish I had internet. I watched the video right before I came up here. I could have brought my computer, I guess. But um, I don't like leaving things in the car. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to say this is probably for sure it. Unless it was up there more. You know what, that actually looks more like than this right here, doesn't it? Let's walk up there a little bit and see what it looks like. But if it was this spot right here, you know, I'm going to say it's up there. Yeah, it looks like it's definitely the one up there. So it's set up there. This right here is very open. A Bigfoot could come through here and hide behind these trees and walk that way. We saw some persons over there, but, um... Those trees look much more like what the video has in it. So I'm gonna head up there. I'm gonna spare you my walk up there. See you in a second. All right guys, so I'm, I'm inclined to say this is for sure it. Up there you can see a fence. I'm gonna have to watch that video again and see if there's any fence in it. But uh, um. I wasn't looking for that, I was just looking for trees. But this looks just like what we saw in the video. So, you know, if you were from the video, the creature is somewhere in these trees and then walks this way and then the person turns. I believe actually the person walks that way a little bit further and then he turns around and runs that way. Yeah, so he walks this way towards the creature. Just a little bit and then the creature walks out into that opening right there. And then he books it this way. Let's go take a look over there at that area. So I found this footprint. It's kind of a dog or something. But, uh, you know, a fairly large dog. But it's definitely not a Sasquatch. You know? Let's keep going. I'm kind of my, my pace is over here to see how far away this is from where the person would have been standing just straight across, kind of where that pink, I don't know if you can see the pink uh, signs over there, but it's right over there. So. Okay, so I walked from, I don't know if you can see where those pink things are. They're just right there, try to see on the camera. But I paced myself on the way over here, and this is about 45 to 50 paces from those trees and that's where the person would have been standing and I believe I'm in the same spot where the Sasquatch or the Bigfoot creature walked out into the clearing and then he ran off so you know that's anywhere from my pace my paces are about two and a half to three feet so I mean at the, at the most 150 feet at the you know least uh, 100 and, I don't know 105 110 feet ish somewhere in there so I mean it's not too far away. A little bit farther on the camera, you know, but it was pretty big. So, I mean, if that's anything to judge by. So, in the video, the creature is walking. It's pretty rough terrain. I don't know. 
I guess there was snow, so all this stuff would be covered in snow and easy to walk on, but right now, I couldn't walk through that easily. Um, so, but in the video that was sent into us, this, I believe, is where the trees were. And it's walking through, gets into this clearing, and the person down there sees it somewhere back in here, and then runs, takes off. Now back in here, I'm actually really close to the road that's in the back of it. I, I believe it's only another, I believe it's just right there, actually, that, go, that goes up behind me. So it's possible that the creature was coming down from the mountain to the lake for some water or that river, walked along this area into this clearing. Maybe that's an easy way across. And then, uh, you know, that's when we got the sighting video from. Or it's a hoax. I mean, the snow up here is supposed to be pretty thick, but, uh, you know, these trees, it's hard for me to walk back here right now. Actually, that is the road, because there goes a biker. So, um, anyways, this, this would be really rough for me to rock it right now, but if there was lots of snow, it might cover that up, but it also might make it really hard to walk in as well. So, I don't know. That's one of those things with this, with this footage, it was pretty intriguing because of how large the creature is and the guy is noticeably scared and when he's filming and running away and everything. So I'm just gonna walk up here to the road and see. I drove on it already. I just didn't realize it was as close to where that siding was. Now it could have been in that previous location where I very first pointed out, but I'm gonna do an overlay when I get home and see if I'm correct. But uh, yeah, so here's the road. So the road is right here. There's a little path here. Could that be a Bigfoot trail that Sasquatch uses to, you know, travel crosses up there and crosses up the river again as well? So, I'm not really sure what to think about that because that, that is an animal trail. I mean, it could just be deer or elk or moose or whatever is up here right now. But like I said, you know, that's the thing about these sightings is, well, let's never know until we have any evidence. You know, any hair, DNA, a body. We just won't know exactly until then. So, anyways guys, let me know what you think about this. I mean, unfortunately I'm not here right after that happened, so I can't really, you know, say, I oh, yeah, look, I see some big footprints from the same sighting or that, you know, that's for sure not a hoax, but it's a decent, it's a decent amount far enough away that uh, it possibly could. Be. And I don't know when the, with this gate closed. So here's the thing that's the road down there that I walked from. So this whole thing is surrounded by this road. It's up there, and then the river's down there, and it curves back around. And I walked up here, and then it's right here. So this sighting that had been filmed right now in the, in the spring or the fall when or summer when this gate is open, I would say, I mean, you hear all these cars coming around me. I would say there's no way that that sighting is legitimate, but because it happened when the gate was closed. This whole area back here is closed off and the only place anyone can drive is down there. And even then it might be too snowed in to really drive on. I don't really know. So anyways guys, is it real? Is it a hoax? Do you like what I just did? Should I do more of these or um, let me know what you guys think. I, uh... Sorry, lots of traffic. It is a beautiful place out here though. Let me know what you guys want me to, you guys want me to do more of these. I mean, that's, uh, if you want, yeah, there's a lot of open ground down there. So it makes sense they would stay close to the trees and the bushes. Anyways, guys, um, this one, I was looking for, I'm gonna go look for some more of these send-in sightings. This one is, was pretty easy to find because of the landmarks that he gave me and told me to follow the fence and find the river and follow the trail and everything. Some of those other ones, I'm not gonna really be so, uh, it's not gonna be so hard, easy to find them. The, the Payson Canyon one actually is pretty easy to find. I, I drove past it once, but it was really rainy and I didn't really want to climb up the hill in the, in the mud and the snow. So anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna stop shaking the camera around. You guys can take off. This has been a long enough video already, but I'm gonna go down to Payson Canyon and review that one and do some research there as well. So anyways, uh, let me know again what you think. Please subscribe, talk to you guys later.